Vatican City, Reuters, an unholy war of words has broken out among Vatican and Catholic officials over the Holy Sea Euro trademark S rapprochement with Communist China, with cardinals, archbishops, and priests caught in an undiplomatic crossfire. In the past few days, one cardinal has accused another of spouting a Euro e nonsense Euro and a priest accused an archbishop of being so naive about China that he was like Alice in Wonderland. The exchanges came as the Vatican and China moved closer to an accord on the appointment of bishops in what would be an historic breakthrough and a precursor to a resumption in diplomatic relations after 70 years. Any deal was bound to be controversial because of concessions the Vatican would have to make to a government that has kept religion under its thumb. But the accusations have become exceptionally shrill as diplomacy has collided with passion. Father Bernardo Servalira, head of the Asia News Agency, which specializes in China, accused Archbishop Marcelo Sanchez Sarando, the head of the Pontifical Academy of Social Sciences, of being a Euro e naive a Euro. In an interview this week, Sanchez Sarando praised China, saying that Chinese today were those who are perhaps best implementing church teachings on social issues, such as concern for the environment and human dignity. A Euro we can understand that in the heat of desire for relations between China and the Vatican one can be doting and exalt Chinese culture, but adulating China is an ideological affirmation that makes a laughing stock of the church A Euro Servalira wrote in an editorial headlined A Euro e in case Sarando in Wonderland A Euro. Catholics in China are split between a Euro underground a Euro communities that recognize the Pope and a state-controlled group where bishops are appointed by the government in collaboration with local church communities. Critics have blasted the deal because it would involve accepting the legitimacy of bishops appointed by the government. The war of words also reached the stratosphere of church hierarchy, cardinal versus cardinal. The Vatican rebuked Cardinal Joseph Zen, 86, the outspoken former bishop of Hong Kong, after he accused it of a euro easeling out a euro China euro trademark s underground Catholics to the communists. Zen, known for his feistiness, did not take it lying down. He accused the Vaticana euro trademark s chief diplomat, Secretary of State Cardinal Pietro Parolin, of speaking a euro e nonsense comma a euro after Parolin said in an interview that the aim of dialogue was the greater good and that the Vatican understood the a euro e pain a euro of Chinese Catholics. Zen retorted in his blog on Monday, a euro or eo. This man who lacks faith, how would he understand what is real pain? A euro. A Vatican source has said the deal could be signed in the next few months. The clerical gloves are expected to stay off at least until then.